Hello everyone, you're welcome to our online school and today we are studying the time. The time, that is what we are studying today in mathematics. So take a look at this. Okay, so you can see the clock right here. What says the time here when the shorter hand is on 11 and the longer one is on 12, it's 11 o'clock. So you are expected to monitor the short hand, the long hand. Okay, so when the long hand is on 12 and the shorter one is on any other number, we have o'clock. So as you can see here, the time is 11 o'clock. Here, the time is three o'clock why is it three o'clock we have the long hand on 12 the shorter hand on three what says the time here this is seven o'clock seven o'clock what about here nine o'clock nine o'clock here it's two o'clock the shorter end is on two the longer one is on 12 so it gives us two o'clock Eight o'clock. Why is it eight o'clock? The shorter end is on eight, while the longer one is on twelve. Eight o'clock. Here we have six o'clock. The time is six o'clock. Shorter end on six and the longer one on twelve. Here it's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Shorter end on 10, the longer one on 12. Here the time is 4 o'clock. So, let's take a look at something else. This is another example on when the time is o'clock. Seven o'clock, five o'clock, one o'clock, four o'clock, eleven o'clock, ten o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, twelve o'clock. Okay, so let's move on with the other forms. Here, you're expected to read the time under the clock and draw the ends in the clock. This is 7 o'clock, so I'll put my shorter end on 7 and the longer one on 12. What about if it's 6.30? I'm expected to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can you see 5 here? I have 5 here. I have 5 here. 5, 5, 5. So definitely when it's on 6, it's 30. So let's say I have the shorter end on 3 and the longer one on 6. That will be 330. If I have the shorter end on 1 and I have the longer one on 6, that's 130. If I have the shorter end on 6 and the longer one on 6, that will be 630. So how am I going to do this? I'll make sure I have my shorter end on 6 and longer end on this very same 6. So that's 630. How about 115? I have my shorter end on 1 and the longer one on 3. Because if I count from 12 to 1, that's 5. Then from 1 to 2, another 5. From 2 to 3, another 5. In other words, if I count from 12 to 3, that is 15. So the shorter end is on 1 and the longer one on 3. That's my 1, 15. Meaning 15 minutes after 1. So you will do this 8, 30 on your own. Simply put the shorter hand on 8 and the longer one on 6. This 320 is also simple. All I need to do is to count from 12 and to 20. 
so which number i have to stop that will be the 20 minutes past three so let's go counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so it's on four so i put my short end on three and the longer one on four that's 320 how about 950 okay the shorter end is on nine where would the longer one be the same method i used with 320 i start to count 50 from 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 on 10. So my longer hand will be on 10. Of course, you know how to do 11, 30 and 6, 10. You count 10 from 12. What number it is you stop? That's where your longer hand would be. This is quarter, quarter two, quarter two. In time, uh, your left side is two, while your right side is past. So if you are quarter to four, that means it's not yet four, it's about four. So, but if you have quarter past four, that means we already have four o'clock, and so after four. So all of the exercises here is measured on quarter two. That means it's not yet that time. So, how will I know quarter? Quarter is simply either 3 or 9. If it's quarter past, it will be on 3. If it's quarter 2, it will be on 9. So, the quarter 2 will be on 9. That's the longer end on, on 9. If it's quarter past, the longer end will be on 3. So, let's take a look at quarter to 4. 2, that's my left side. So, definitely the longer end will be on 9 and the shorter one on 4. Quarter to what is this? Where is my shorter end? Six. So quarter to six. Quarter to what is this? My shorter end is on eight. Quarter to eight. So that is how you do the remaining exercises. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's class on time. See you next time. Bye-bye.